Peace, y'all. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. We'll answer all of your questions, concerns, and comments. Now, today what I want to discuss is I want to discuss something that's very near and dear to the American population, and that's credit cards. Now, I get people who contact me and say, hey, you know, I'll rent it for you to dispute for me because I just don't have the time, I don't have the patience, and I just trust that based on what I've seen um, in your videos and I also have seen uh, in terms of the testimonials that I would just rather you do it for me. However, I want for my entire credit report to be wiped right clean. Um, you know, they, will, and they also say, hey, you know, and I also have credit card payments um, that I've had late. I want the entire credit card account to be removed, etc. Now, what I want to tell you is that you do not necessarily want to remove the entire credit card account just because of um, various late payments. You want to actually dispute um, the late payments, and I will actually tell you how you can do that in a later video, um, you just want to dispute the actual late payment and not the actual entire credit card account. And this is why, because although you may have late payments on your credit card, that open revolving account provides credit history to your credit report, which actually, which actually boosts up your credit score. So you want to keep your credit card accounts open. You do not want to close them because if you close them, based on the amount of credit cards you have that payment history in the account history and also the mixture of credit um, that will actually decrease so, so, so let's say for instance if you have a credit card that is 10 years old and you have another credit card that's five years old if you have been making late payments um, on the credit card account that is 10 years old and you want to just close the account or you want to just entirely remove it once you actually remove that particular account or you close it, then your payment history for your revolving account goes from 10 years um, over for overall age down to five years. Now when it goes down to five years, what happens is that then the age of your revolving account it, it eventually reduces, which subsequently actually hurts you because you because you want to have a long a revolving account or a long payment history. Um, over an extended period of time because that actually helps your, your scores. The new, the newer um, your credit scores are in terms of or the age of your credit, your credit history is, that actually is going to hurt you. So you want to be able to establish long credit history because the long credit history is, going to, is actually what's going to eventually help you. So you do not want to close, especially the credit cards where you have a lot of age on it. You want to keep age on your credit card if you don't have a credit card, you should definitely get one or two, but I recommend the maximum three um, so you can be able to establish that. And so it's very, very um, important for you to do because in order for you to be able to establish credit, you need to have available credit, you need to have credit cards. And, um, and doing that is very simple. Um, you can actually use a service such as Credit Karma, which is free, and they give you um, available credit cards that you'll most likely qualify for and you can be able to just go through the list. If you need assistance, you can actually contact me and I can log to Credit Karma and I'll actually do that for you for free because I just love helping people. So yes, in terms of your credit cards, please do not cancel them, do not close them um, because that credit card history is going gonna, is gonna to be what's going to actually assist you so you can um, boost your credit. All you have to do is just make the just make the minimum payment, the minimum balance, pay that off every single month, and then eventually over time, uh, you know your credit score is going to increase. Now, if you owe a lot of uh, money, such as ten thousand, twenty thousand um, dollars, I would definitely recommend, and, and you don't ever see yourself paying paying it back. Uh, you can definitely dispute it. You can get it removed. And now if you're going through that, yes, remove it because if it, if, because that basically increases your debt to credit ratio. And once your debt to credit ratio increases, especially when it goes above the 30% um, rate, then that actually affects you uh, even more. So if you have credit cards and if you are able to pay them down, pay them down under 30%, the best thing is really 0% um, because once you get down to that much, then your credit scores are going to increase. But the more you owe, um, you know, the lower your credit scores are going to be. So you have to be able to look at your credit report to be able to, to determine which credit card you should pay off first. 
and um, there are services that actually provide that to where it's at. Um, and we can provide um, such as Identity IQ. I'll actually show the link below so you know um, exactly what, you know, what your credit scores are as well as what you should pay down first so you can be able to determine um, how to go about making payments to lower your credit card debt. So yes, please do not just cancel them, do not just delete them. Uh, if you need any assistance, we're definitely here to help you because we want your credit score to be high so you can be able to do everything that you need and want to do in life and so you can be able to live prosperously, all right? So if you all have any questions, feel free to contact me at credithealing at gmail.com or if you're ready to get started, please go to www.credithealing.org.